In this video, we'll introduce the Mega 1284P Explained board and show you how to get up and running in just a few minutes. We'll show you the pre-programmed demo software, edit some code in AVR Studio 5 and reprogram the board through a bootloader. But first, let's look at the Mega 1284P Explained board itself. Like the other explained boards, this is an evaluation board for an Atmel AVR microcontroller, in this case the Mega AVR products. In addition to the AT Mega 1284P, it is packed with other components, connection headers, LEDs and buttons of course, but also things like a Q-Touch button, light sensor, temperature sensor, RC filter and footprints for external memory. The board easily connects to your PC through USB, you don't need an external programmer. Before you can start using the board, go to the Mega 1284P Explained webpage, click the Documents tab and download all the present documents and software. There's also one you need to register for. The AVR370 Getting Started document tells you all you need to get started. Note in particular chapters 4 and 5 that show you how to install the USB driver and set up a virtual COM port for the board. After this, install the AVR911 AVR open source program. The AT Mega 1284P Explained comes pre programmed with an example application that runs as soon as you power the board. But you can also connect via a terminal program and get more functions via a menu. Open up Hyper Terminal, for example, and connect to the virtual COM port that you have set up, in our case, COM4. Press the reset button while holding switch 1. A menu appears in your terminal program. Pressing 2, the LEDs flash. Pressing 4, the light sensor value is read and displayed. Pressing 4 again while holding your finger over the light sensor produces a different value. Press 5 to enter light sensor demo mode. Press switch 0 on the board to exit the light sensor demo. The last few items in the demo menu allows us to flex some peak power muscle. Let's connect a multimeter to the onboard power measurement header. Now press 6 to start the onboard 32kHz crystal. Press 9 to enter power save mode, note the multimeter reading and press switch 0 on the board to wake up. Press 7 to stop the 32kHz crystal. Press 9 again to enter power save mode and note the power consumption. It's just 0.1 microamps, which is the same as in power down mode. Press switch 0 on the board to exit. The source code for this demo software is included in AVR Studio 5, so we can use it as a basis for learning, experimentation or a real application. Open up AVR Studio 5 and click New Example Project. Click the Kit tab and expand the Mega 1284P Explained branch. Click OK, accept the license agreement and finish. Use the Code Navigator to quickly navigate to the main function. As an easy example, we're just going to flash some LEDs. So we comment out the terminal mode part of the code and add a simple call to flash the LEDs 200 times. We need a hex file output, so right click the project name in the Solution Explorer Check the hex box, save and return to main. Click the build button to build the project and note the location of the output file. Now we're going to use the AVR911 open source programmer, also known as AVR OSP, to program the board. Open up a command window and go to the folder where your hex file is located. Use the mode command to set up a COM port. We'll use COM4 again. Note that AVR OSP only supports COM port numbers 1 to 8. Now type AVR OSP.exe plus the following parameters. For the explain board to enter boot mode, press reset while holding switch 0. Press enter in your command window. The board is programmed. Press reset on the board and the LEDs are flashing. Hopefully, this demo showed you how easy it is to get started with a Mega 1284P Explained. 
The possibilities with the explain kits are virtually endless, so keep experimenting and make sure you check out the other explain boards and the top modules on atmel.com/explained. Thanks for watching.